Hey, we're going to talk today about um, codominance and what that means and then how you would um, use Punnett squares to predict percentages of um, offspring that you would expect to show a certain trait. So codominance is when both traits are fully expressed. So in our regular Punnett squares, a dominant allele, a dominant gene covered up a recessive and the dominant was expressed, we saw the dominant, and you didn't see the recessive. In a codominance case, both happen at the same time. So the best and the classic example are human blood types. So both blood type A, a gene for blood type A, and a gene for blood type B are dominant over O's. Um, however, A and B together are codominant, meaning that if you have a gene for A and a gene for B, you will show both. So we have this handy chart here. Um, remembering that genotype is the um, genes that you carry, the alleles, um, and phenotype is the physical trait that you show. So in this case, your phenotype is if you go into the doctor's office or you go and donate blood, um, and they tell you this is your blood type, that's the phenotype. So if you had an AO, um, so a copy of A and a copy of O, or two copies of A, in both of those cases, your phenotype will be A. So if you go to the doctor, um, they stick your finger, they test your blood type, you will be blood type A, because the A gene would cover up the O, and then of course, if you have two copies of the A gene, um, then your blood type would be A. Similar situation with B. Um, a copy of the B allele, the B gene, will cover up O. And of course, if you have two copies of B, your blood type is B. Now, if you get a blood, a copy of the A gene and a copy of the B gene, and you go into the doctor's office and they test your blood type, your blood type is AB. So if you get a copy of A and a copy of B, your blood type is AB. Because when we are dealing with um, types of blood, we are talking about what markers the blood cells have. So it would have both the A and B markers. Um, and then finally, the only way you have blood type O, which realistically probably most of you um, in this class do, um, is if you have two copies of the O gene. Um, so, as far as the Punnett squares, you go through the same process, but you're going to have more possible outcomes. Um, so, same basic process. Percent should still add up to 100%, but you're going to have more possible outcomes for both the genotype um, and phenotype. Um, now, um, plus and minus, which is, um, or positive and negative, uh, which deals with the RH factor, um, that's a separate issue. So if you've heard, oh, I'm, I'm O positive or O negative, the positive or negative deals with a separate gene. So um, again, more genotypes, more phenotypes, but the same Punnett square process, um, although in this case we do have some multiple letters going on, um, and percentages should still add up to 100%.